Disclaimer. Exercise is not without its risks and this or any other exercise programme may result in injury. We are unable to perform a physical assessment with you at this time and therefore you take individual responsibility for your exercise programme. When exercising at home, choose a clear space at a comfortable temperature and have drinking water available. Please wear loose, comfortable clothing and flat, non-slip supportive footwear. Only exercise if you are feeling well. During exercise, it is normal to feel slightly warm, slightly out of puff, experience light perspiration, feel your muscles working and your heart rate increasing. It is not normal to experience dizziness, palpitations, undue breathlessness or chest pain. In these instances, you should stop, rest and allow the symptoms to ease. Should they not ease, follow any guidance that you have been given and seek medical advice. If you experience pain in your joints or muscles, stop, check your position and try again. If the pain persists, seek medical advice. However, feeling that your muscles are working and slight soreness the next day after exercise is normal and shows that the muscles are working. Breathe normally throughout and try not to hold your breath. Patients who have undergone cardiac surgery, for example bypass or bowel surgery and have had their chest bone opened need to be careful with arm and chest exercises for 12 weeks to allow the bone to heal. Exercise within a comfortable range and avoid pushing, pulling and heavy lifting. Remember, moderate intensity exercise with a warm up and cool down is a safe and effective treatment for your heart. Only ever do what is comfortable for you and seek advice if you have any issues or concerns. The aim of this video is to demonstrate the exercises that we perform in cardiac rehabilitation so you can use them safely and effectively at home. Please ensure you've read the disclaimer uh, with your hard copy of the exercise programme before you start. And it's also important to remember that this is not an individually prescribed programme, so only perform the exercises that are comfortable for you. If any movements cause discomfort, please leave them out. The only equipment that we're going to need for this exercise is your chair, um, stretchy TheraBand, little resistance band, and either a tin of beans or two tins of beans or light weights. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a chair without armrests so I can free my hands up for the arm movement. Before starting, it's always important to remember about your posture. So the first thing you need to do is shuffle forward in your chair. So you're sitting in the front third of the chair and remember to keep a nice upright posture and really engage your core muscles. So we're going to start the warm up and so all we're going to start doing is gently moving the feet on the spot. If this feels comfortable you can now start to bring in some arm movements at the same time. And it's important to go as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable with really paying attention to your breathing. Remember this is just a warm up, it's a nice gentle movement to begin with. Now we're going to go into some toe tapping, so just tapping the toes out in front, pointing the toes down, alternating with the feet, nice slow control movement and again keep it in a nice comfortable range of movement for you. And back to a gentle march on the spot. This time we're going to go to a heel tap, so we're pointing the toes up to the ceiling, alternating with the feet. And back into a gentle march on the spot.
I'm going to tap out to the side now. So tapping one foot out to the side. Nice comfortable range of movement for you. And again, nice slow control movement. And back into a gentle march on the spot. And now we're just going to lift, lift the knees up slightly higher. Again, keeping it comfortable for you. Again, nice slow control movement. And back to a march on the spot. This time I'm just going to do a straight leg raise. So just bringing the foot out in front. Again, to a comfortable place for you. Alternating with the feet. back into a march on the spot. And now we're just going to come in some heel lifts, okay? So keeping your feet nice and flat on the floor, just slowly lifting both heels up at the same time. Again, nice slow control movements. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Now we're going to come into some stretches. So starting from top to bottom, just going to start with a gentle neck stretch. Just slowly turn your head to one side. And back to the middle. And over to the other side. And back to the middle. During the stretches, we're going to continue trying to keep the feet moving. But if you find this continuous movement uncomfortable on your joints, remember you can come into either some toe tapping in between or just some gentle heel lifts or even just wiggling the toes will really help as well so whatever's comfortable for you just going to come into some gentle shoulder rolls so up and back with the shoulders and up and forwards and just relax the arms down Again, just keeping the feet moving and again comfortable pace for you comfortable range of movement remember you can always go into some toe tapping or some gentle heel lifts just going to bring the hands to touch your shoulders now have a little stretch in front and back to the shoulders if it's comfortable for you try and have a nice gentle stretch up and back down and relax your arms down Taking one hand now, your right hand to your right shoulder, point the elbow up to a place that's comfortable for you, and just hold that stretch there. So we're just stretching the back of the arm now. And when you're ready, just going to change over. And relax the arm down. Now we're just going to stretch the shoulders. So just going to reach one arm across the body. If it feels comfortable, you can maybe bring one hand underneath and just guide the arm in a little bit closer. Remember to not push into any joint pain. Keep every movement comfortable for you. And change over. And relax the arm down. Just going to give the upper back a gentle stretch now. So slowly raising the arms out in front. Keep it in a place that's comfortable for you and just hold that position. And then slowly bring the hands to the small of your back or to your hips, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm just going to give the chest a gentle stretch. And relax the arm down. Again, remember to keep your feet moving. And if this repetitive movement starts to become uncomfortable, come into some heel lifts or gentle toe taps and into a gentle march okay just bring your feet a little bit wider apart now just keeping the toes wiggling there just going to bring the hands up to chest height slowly twist to one side 
If you've got space and if it's comfortable, you can maybe reach back with an arm. Slowly back to the middle, over to the other side. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Now just going to slowly bring your hands down to your sides. Again, feet a little bit wider apart, wiggle in the toes. Slowly bring your hand down to one side to a point that's comfortable for you. Back to the middle and down to the other side. I'm just going to perform that one more time. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Just going to do some gentle side stepping now. Okay, so slowly stepping both feet out to one side. Just gentle movements there. Nice slow control movements. And now we're going to step the feet out so you've got a nice wider stance. I'm just going to slowly transfer your weight from side to side. Just gentle weight transfer on the chair. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Just going to come into a leg stretch now. So we're going to tap out onto a heel again. It's really important with this stretch to ensure you're really sitting forward in the chair. Make sure you're supported by the chair. This time we're going to step the foot out onto the heel, keeping the toe pointing up. Okay. The other leg should be bent. And just to increase into the stretch, just need to ease forward slowly. And you should feel a stretch on the back of that leg. Just hold that position. And step back slowly. Gentle movements in between. And change over when you're ready. And step back slowly. Back into a gentle march on the spot. And now we're just going to go back into those toe taps again. Again, alternating with the feet. At a pace that's comfortable for you. And a comfortable range of movement. And back into a gentle march. Just going to lift those knees up slightly higher again. Again, keeping this comfortable for you. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Again, just tapping out onto the heel one more time. And back into that march on the spot. And just alternating with side taps. So tapping the foot out to the side one more time. into a gentle march on the spot. Just going to repeat the heel lifts one more time. So again, this time lifting heels up at the same time. Just hold it for a second and slowly back down. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Okay, so now we've performed the warm-up. We're now ready to begin the actual exercise circuit. All these exercises will be performed in the chair. And this is what we call level one exercises in cardiac rehabilitation. So this is a modified form of the exercises that we perform around the circuit. The first exercise in the circuit is bicep curls. So for this exercise, you need to pick up your tins of beans or light weights if you have some available. Again, remember in your posture, so keeping your back up nice and straight, tucking your elbows in at your sides at all times, we're still trying to keep the feet moving gently on the spot. And now we're just curling up towards the shoulders. Nice slow control movement. We have a nice relaxed breathing throughout. Slow control movement. Again, keeping it in a comfortable range of movement for you. And again, remember, you don't have to just keep the feet moving. You can come into some gentle toe tapping. 
more heels happen. Or you can just come into some heel lifts. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next exercise, which is going to be an exercise for your legs. So for this exercise, we're going to need your stretchy resistance band. You can take the band on both sides, pop it onto the floor, step in the front part of your foot onto the band. So the band should be coming out either the side of the leg that you're working. You can bring your hands up to your hips. Okay, so your hands are anchoring the band at your hips. Remember in your posture, keeping your back up nice and straight, nice relaxed breathing. It's going to bend the knee up slowly towards you and then pushing out against the resistance of the band. So bending the knee up, pushing out against the resistance of the band. So you do this for 30 seconds on one leg and then you would change over. Again, stepping the front part of the foot onto the band, making sure you've got some resistance there. Bring your hands up to your hips. And again, bending the knee up and pushing out against the resistance of the band. And again, nice slow control movements. Try and keep the leg in a neutral position. Try not to let the legs come out to the side. And then you'll be moving on to the next exercise, which is an arm pull down. So you can keep a hold of the band that you're using. For this exercise, you're gonna pop the band over your shoulder. Fixing one hand to the sternal area. And then one hand just below, so quite a close grip there. Again, keeping your back up nice and straight, nice relaxed breathing throughout. And for this one, you're just going to pull the bottom hand away from the top hand. And as you're straightening the arm out there, you should be feeling it in the back of the arm. And again, you perform this for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Again, we're continuing to keep the feet moving. Again, you can come in some heel lifts or toe tapping, whatever movement's comfortable for you, as long as it's continuous movement throughout. Just changing over, so the other hand comes to the sternal area, bottom hand below it, pulling the hand slowly down until you feel a slight pull on the back of the arm. So you're just working the tricep muscle there. Okay, so we're going to move on to another leg exercise now. Again, thinking about your posture throughout, nice upright posture, engaging those core muscles. For this exercise, we're just going to start lifting the knees up slightly higher again. Again, making sure this is comfortable for you. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you may need to adapt this exercise. Remembering some of the warm-up exercises we performed earlier, you can come in some toe tapping, maybe starting to increase the range of movement, some side tapping, just as long as it's comfortable for you. Or you can perform the high knees. And a nice slow controlled movement. we're going to perform is an exercise for the upper body. So again, you'd need your tins of beans or light weights if you have some for this exercise. Again, posture is a, is a key for this exercise, keeping your back up nice and straight and relaxed breaths throughout. Just going to tuck your elbows in at your sides. And for this exercise, just going to bring the arms slowly out to the side. If it's comfortable for you to do so, you can bring your arms up to shoulder height. But if you're within the 12 week recovery period after bypass surgery, or valve replacement, you may need to adjust your range of movement, either to come into a much smaller movement, a quarter of the distance, or just keeping your arms closer to your body, bring your arms up towards your chin, wherever movement's comfortable for you. So you can go back into some bicep curls, or just keeping your arms closer to your body. After the 12-week recovery period, allowing your sternal area to heal, 
you can then start to increase your range of movement as long as that's comfortable for you to do so. Okay, the next exercise we're going to perform is a leg exercise and we're just going to go into some gentle side, side steps one more time. Again, you can either go into a gentle side tap and alternate with the feet and starting to increase your range of movement as long as that's comfortable or you can sidestep both feet out which needs to be a much smaller step to perform. So again, whatever's comfortable for you. Again, remember in your posture for this exercise, nice upright posture, nice relaxed breaths. And remember to take on fluids throughout this exercise program, stop for a break if you need to and have a drop of water. So for the next exercise, we're going to perform an upper body movement again. And again, you'd need your stretchy resistance band for this one. For this exercise, it's going to be a chest exercise. We need to put the band around your back. And you can ask for assistance for this one if you need to from a family member. Just make sure it's fairly high up around the back area. And so all we're going to do is slowly pushing the band up in front. Again, we're keeping the feet moving gently. And again, for this one, you can come into some heel lifts or toe tapping, whatever movement is comfortable for you. Nice, slow, controlled movements, nice, relaxed breaths, and keeping the posture nice and upright. If you want to increase the resistance, just bringing your hands further down the band, closer to your body, will do so. Or if you want to relax the resistance, just bring your hands further away from your body, and it will release some tension. So just keep the movements comfortable for you. Okay, so now we're going to perform another leg exercise. This one is called a straight leg raise and we did this in the warm up earlier. So again, first thing you need to remember is keeping your back up nice and straight. And for this one, we're just going to lift the, the foot out in front. Nice slow control movement. You can maybe hold it for a second if you can. And then relax back down, alternate with the feet. And again, if this one becomes uncomfortable for you within the minute, you can go into some smaller movements, into some gentle toe tapping, continuous movement, or just some mobilizing exercises for the ankle. So you could just do heel to toe tapping. Now we're going to perform another upper body movement, just keeping your feet moving gently throughout. And you can either choose to use your tins of beans or your light weights for this exercise or your stretchy band. With your tins of beans, you could just hold them out in front of you. And so all we're going to do is bring the arms slowly up the body, elbows out to the side. The hands come just below the chin if that's comfortable for you. And again, nice slow control movements, upright posture. All the same can be performed with the stretchy band. By just stepping one foot onto the band for some resistance and you're just performing the same movement as you would with the weight. Again, nice slow control movements and bringing your hands further down the band will just increase some resistance. Remember for this exercise, if you're using the TheraBand, just to keep your toes wiggling as you're performing this movement. Okay, for the last exercise, we're just going to perform some marching. 
And again, keeping it comfortable for you, comfortable pace. We're coming towards the last exercise now. So if you, if you want to increase the intensity a little bit before we go into a cool down, you can start to bring in some arm movement. Or just keep it nice and comfortable, keeping the feet moving, moving at a steady pace. Again, nice relaxed breath. Really try and think in your posture, keep your back up nice and straight. And again, there's always an alternative. If, you, if this movement's uncomfortable for you, you can always perform the toe taps or just lifting the heels slowly from the floor. circuit exercises. We're just going to go through the same sequence of movements that we performed in the beginning. This is now your cool down, just very slow gentle movements. We're still really engaging our core muscles if you can, keeping your back up nice and straight, nice relaxed breaths. We're just performing the movements a little bit smaller, a little bit slower than we did at the beginning, just to slow everything down before we finish. Remember you can have a drop of water now at this point before we go into the movements if you'd like to. And we're just going to go in some gentle toe taps one more time. And a gentle march on the spot. And then just a gentle tap to the side. that march on the spot. Now tapping onto the heels, alternating with the feet. And a gentle march. Starting to bring the knees up a little bit higher as long as that's comfortable for you. Gentle march on the spot. And bring into that straight leg raise again. And a gentle march. And then just lifting the heels at the same time one more time. some gentle movements with the feet. We're now going to go through the same sequence of stretches, again starting from top to bottom, so a gentle neck stretch, just slowly turn your head to one side and over to the other side and back to the middle, gentle shoulder rolls up and back to the shoulders one more time. forwards and relax the arms down. Just bring the hands to touch your shoulders now, have a gentle stretch in front, back to the shoulders and again if you can have a gentle stretch up and relax the arms down. Bringing the right hand now to the right shoulder again, pointing the elbow up so it's comfortable for you. And just hold that stretch. And change over. And relax the arms down. And again, remember if the continuous movement of marching on the spot is uncomfortable, Break it up with some gentle toe taps or heel lifts. Just 
I'm going to give the shoulder a gentle stretch now, just reaching an arm across the body. And again, bring her in a little bit closer if you can. But again, don't push into any joint pain. Keep it comfortable throughout. And change over. Relax the arms down. Just going to give the upper back a gentle stretch again, just out reaching the arms in front to the point that's comfortable for you. And then bring your hands to the small of your back or to your hips, whichever one is comfortable for you, just to give the chest a gentle stretch. And relax the arms down. Just bring your feet a little bit wider apart now, hands up to chest height. Wiggle in your toes if you can, just going to slowly twist to one side again. And again, if you have space and if it's comfortable, you can maybe reach back with the arm back to the middle, and over to the other side, and back to the middle. Gentle march on the spot. Just place your hands down by your sides again. Again, feet a little bit wider apart, and just slowly run the hands down the side, and just feel a gentle stretch, back to the middle, and down to the other side. And one more each side. back into a gentle march on the spot. Or again, heel lifts or gentle toe taps, whichever is comfortable for you. Just gonna come into those gentle side steps one more time, so stepping both feet gently to one side. And then we're gonna step the feet out, so you've got a wider stance, I'm just going to slowly transfer the weight from side to side. Slow weight transfer, like slow control movements. And back into a gentle march on the spot. Just going to come into a straight leg raise, hold it for a second and alternate. March in between. And come in some heel lifts one more time. So again, just lifting the heels at the same time together. Hold it for a second and slowly back down. And now we're just going to stretch the muscles at the back of the leg again. So stepping the foot out onto the heel, pointing the toe up to the ceiling. So this leg should be straight. The other leg should be bent. Place your hands on the bent leg and just ease forward to a point that's comfortable for you. And hold that stretch and you should feel it on the back of the straight leg. And step the foot back slowly, just some gentle movements in between. And again, remember that for this exercise, you may need to shuffle forward a little bit in your chair to get the right stretch. Again, step in the foot, other foot out, pointing the toe up to the ceiling, nice straight leg. Place your hands on the bent leg and just ease forward to a point that's comfortable for you, keeping your head looking forward. And again, you should feel a stretch at the back of that leg there. And bring the foot slowly back, gentle movements on the spot. And then we're just going to slowly lift the heels, alternating with the feet this time. Nice slow control movements. Finish. Relax your feet. Again, relax your posture slightly. And we're just going to finish with a couple of nice relaxed breaths. So taking a breath in through your nose and out through the mouth. Well done. It's important to remember that exercise is safe and effective for your heart if performed at the correct intensity for you. Remember to go at your own pace, keep all the movements comfortable, 
Not every exercise may be suitable for you, so again, pick and choose which ones are comfortable. And remember to get yourself a nice glass of water at the end.